Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappinkatie.ctmh.com and today is 24 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and this is Series 7. Now here is a look at the sketch and then right off the bat I'm loving the grid pattern in the back and I am going to be using a photo of my daughter kind of looking giving us her best side eye and then the Eat, Play, Love stamp set um, this is with the scrapbooking kit, or no, the card making kit. And then I'm going to be pulling out a piece of candy apple cardstock, and that's going to be the base of my layout. Now, as you may or may not know, you've heard me mention, and I even did it on a layout a couple of days ago. Um, our cardstock is on sale right now, and so I am going to be doing more of that dry embossing and sanding. And I want to use the true side of Candy Apple, so that is what is turned over onto my scoreboard. And you can see here that I am just randomly uh, scoring a whole bunch of lines. They are about three quarters of an inch apart, but Overall, I'm really not measuring. I am just scoring and they're not going all the way to the top and some meet in the middle. And then I will kind of look at it and fill in just a couple of more blanks. Overall, I think I'm done. So I am going to pull out a sanding block. Now for this sanding, I am going to be using one that I got just from Home Depot. And I'm just going to start sanding and you can watch this white core just pop. It's almost like when you are truly embossing something. I just love when that white core pops from this cardstock. So I'm going to speed this up just a little bit and get this sanded down. And again, you can see by the grid, it is not perfect at all, but there's just something I love about it for this layout. So I've cleaned all the dust off of my workstation and now I'm going to start working on matting my photos. Now, like I said, um, we are at my husband's parents' house and she must have not gotten her way on something, but she is giving the side eye to someone and I love it. And I'm actually going to be using um, some stickers and then of course that stamp set I showed you from the Eat, Play, Love, which is all about food but if you'll stick around, you'll see how I tie that into this photo. Now that almond and then that glacier pattern paper that you see me matting my photo on, that is from the Mix-In collection. And all I did was I looked in our color, our Love of Color book, which Close to My Heart is one of our how-to books, and I knew that her shirt was that candy apple color. And so I just looked Candy Apple up in that book and it told me that Almond and Glacier went with those colors. Now it just so happens that the wall behind her is kind of an almond color. So that played perfectly in with this color scheme. So I've kind of loosely matted those and now I'm going to be pulling out the sticker sheet from the Eat, Play, Love, attaching those to some wax paper so I can see exactly where I want to put them down. Now, keeping in line with the sketch, there are a couple of circles at the bottom left and the top right of the photo. And then, of course, there is that little um, right upper corner that has a little embellishment at it as well. So I'm keeping that in mind as I am pulling out pattern paper and stickers and everything else. So this plaid paper did come from the same collection and I just had some scraps. So I just cut a little piece of that and then I'm loving these florals. Um, even though she, this photo has nothing to do with florals, um, she is in a kitchen. Again, I'm kind of playing on the Eat, Play, Love paper line and I'm just loving how all of these little tiny embellishments and elements come together for the overall layout. So I'm going to get ready to adhere these photo mats down. Now you notice that I tore one of them and then the other one I kept straight. I did that kind of for visual interest as well as dimension on the layout. Those torn pieces, I will be adding some 3D foam tape behind those corners just to make sure that they stay kind of um, curled up, if you will. But overall, it just kind of adds dimension, which I just love the dimension that the sketch had. 
So I've added some tape adhesive on the back of those foam sheets and then I am just going to add some of that liquid adhesive just to make sure it really sticks and then turn that layover layout over and really press down on that and then I'm going to just start adding the foam tape as well as just adding those stickers down to this layout. So in the top right over that little plaid piece, I'm going to put that bigger sticker element and then I'm going to put this smaller one. I am going to add just a 3D foam square right to that heart pattern paper and then place that flower over that. And then I am going to start working on that element at the top right. Now if you remember, the stamp set that I pulled out is from the Eat, Play, Love card making kit. And it comes with this cute little um, jar as well as some sentiments. Now for the sentiment, I chose the one that says a pinch of salt and a dash of sass because as you can see, my daughter definitely has the sass going on. So I'm just going to ink that up in that toffee ink and then just um, end up cutting that a little bit tighter around the sentiment. And then I am going to tear the bottom. Now I briefly thought about cutting the bottom, but then I kind of wanted to bring that torn edge from the blue heart pattern paper up to the top. So I wanted to add some color to the back of this sentiment. So I've just turned over some lemonade ink pad onto a block, and then I'm going to pull out my all purpose mat. And then I'm just going to use some packaging to just apply that lemonade color to this little sentiment. Now the toffee ink is not meant to get wet, so it does bleed just a little bit, but not enough to matter. I really like how it looks up there with that watercolor lemonade. I'm just gonna hit that with my heat tool just to make sure it's good and dry. And then I'm gonna add some 3D foam tape to the back of that piece. Now, when you are kind of um, have different, el different elements separated from each other, like I do here, I definitely wanted to take one of the colors and um, add it to the top right. So I've chosen the lemonade, and then I will end up adding some more of that glacier here in just a second. Now, that sticker salty that I added to the bottom right corner of my daughter's little picture um, that is, you know, some lingo that I hear my older children use all the time. And then, of course, it just has to do with this Eat, Play, Love collection, which is all about the kitchen and cooking. I just love how it also played into this photo. And then, like I have said before, I just can't have a tag on my layout without having something tied through the hole. So I have just pulled some ribbon from my stash. Now this is Glacier, so it is going to match that heart pattern paper. I've just tied a knot and I will end up messing with this a little bit more later in the video and I end up tying a bow on that. These are the wooden shapes that come with the Eat, Play, Love. So there's a salt and pepper shaker. I thought that would be a fun play on that salty word. And then I pulled out some hearts as well as some just wooden florals. So I'm going to lay these out and then I am going to actually color these wooden shapes with our lemonade uh, shimmer brush and then I am going to stamp on some of the wooden shapes as well. I absolutely love these wooden shapes because like I said you can color them with ink pads, you can color them with shimmer brushes like I'm about to do here, you can stamp on them, you can heat emboss them, really you can do anything and everything and they're good solid, they're thick but not too thick and so I just love playing with these. So you see that I'm picking them up with my tweezers and then coloring them with that lemonade shimmer brush and you'll be able to see that shimmer here in just a second. So I'm pretty happy with those and then I am going to pull out the charming background stamp set to finish off some of those other wooden shapes. So here is where I decide to untie that knot and go ahead and tie a bow and I end up liking liking that bow a whole lot better. Now a knot I usually like to do with twine or something like that but this ribbon was just a little bit too thick for a knot and the tails were just doing weird things so I decided to do the bow. 
So I'm going to pull out um, my glue dots and go ahead and get all of these wooden elements glued down. And then I will use just a piece of that carrier sheet to really press down on those. I didn't want my finger to rub any of that shimmer off. And so that carrier sheet was perfect for this. So the wooden shapes that I'm going to stamp, I'm going to do the hearts and I'm going to do the salt and pepper shaker. Now from this charming background, there are several backgrounds, but I'm going to be using the plaid and I'm actually going to be using the plaid for both the salt and pepper shaker and the hearts. The salt and, pep the salt and pepper shaker, I used that toffee ink and then I am going to use Peacock. Now Peacock isn't a color that I've used yet aside from the zip strip at that top element. So I am going to love what a dark element that brings to the layout. And you can see here that I'm just loving the plaid on those hearts and then you can barely tell on the salt and pepper shaker but in the steel shots you'll be able to see it. So I'm just going to attach all of those wooden pieces with some more glue dots. That's really the best. You could also use liquid glass, um, but I find that glue dots just kind of work. It's a whole lot less messier. And then I'm going to pull out some enamel dots. Now these enamel dots are actually from the Daisy Meadow collection, um, which is our Easter collection, but they have... Um, some of the same colors. They've got that dark blue and then they've got the glacier that go perfectly with that patterned paper. Now I could have used the yellow but the yellow in these enamel dots is a little bit darker. It's our Sundance color and I really wanted to stay with the light bright yellows of the lemonade. So the last thing to do on this layout is add a date. So I've pulled out my date, date stamp and then again that peacock color which is that dark blue just to add another element of that dark blue. I'm going to stamp that date down at the bottom and here is a look at the shimmer on those wooden shapes from the lemonade shimmer brush and then of course I'm loving the sanded grid behind her photo. If you ask me, I think that grid kind of looks like a kitchen towel and I'm loving how it's playing along, not only with the photo, but with the Eat, Play, Love collection. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you liked what you saw, I would love it if you would leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And as always, I would like to have you subscribe and sign up for notifications. And don't forget that I'll leave all the links to the other girls playing along in the 30 days of sketches down below.